We're going to demonstrate how to fix a vac motor that has a collapsed impeller housing. I'm going to collapse this impeller housing. Well, it didn't really collapse much. We're going to assume that it's collapsed on this point here. You would examine it physically, determine, ah, here's the most collapsed point. Then you're going to set it down. You're going to grab a nice flat screwdriver, set it right there. And then you're going to tap it lightly like that and you're going to keep doing it. Sometimes it separates here, okay? You want to keep tapping it until it finally separates here, right here where the two cans come together. And you just keep doing that. You can move over. You don't want to maybe hit it in the same exact place over and over because you might dent it a little bit. But you just keep doing that until you notice that it's down inside the recessed area, down in the ridge, not up on top. And at which point, it'll look even again, and this will spin free. Then you're ready to go. When you tighten it, make sure you're tightening it just enough to compress the gasket and get a good seal and no more. And that should be it. Keep in mind that if it separates here, that you are going to have to get it to go back down to where it, it, see, where it collapses here again and still spins free, okay? In other words, you may get it to spin free because it separated here, but didn't separate here, which means you still need to work on it a little bit more because you'll need to keep tapping it till it, this separates down. This, the top can is recessed, and this fits over it. Just It telescopes like that, but sometimes it jumps up above that part, and that's you need to get it back down into the, into the ridge. Lesson over.